Hi and welcome to our channel, The Travel Boss. Kuala Lumpur focuses a lot on tourism, so there are a lot of different things to see and do, from more traditional to more modern, depending on your tastes. There are temples and mosques that show how diverse the city is, as well as amazing futuristic towers and skyscrapers, local markets and street food, and just about anything else you can think of. But before we start our countdown, Please subscribe to our channel, The Travel Boss, and also tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Kuala Lumpur in comments. Number 10. Eat some street food at Hutong. There are many food courts inside malls in Kuala Lumpur, but Hutong is said to be one of the best. The food is authentic and delicious, and it's all under one roof so you don't have to walk around looking for a feast. If you've never tried Malaysian food before, the food court is a great place to start because it has all the most popular and tasty dishes like oyster omelets, fried noodles and noodle soups, dumplings, meatballs, and roasted meats. Number 9. Kuala Lumpur Railway Station The more modern KL Central is taken over as Kuala Lumpur's main train station, but you can still visit the Kuala Lumpur Railway Station to see a railway museum inside an example of classic British and Asian architecture. Built by the British during the colonial era and finished in 1886, the museum is a mix of European and Asian styles. In the Great Hall, you can see old fire engines and steam trains, among other things. There are also models and replicas of trains and carriages. Number 8. Do some shopping at Central Market. The Central Market in Kuala Lumpur, which is also called Pasar Sini, is a popular tourist spot. It used to be a wet market where people bought fruit, vegetables, and meat. The area has been updated and now has different sections that show the different cultures and ethnic groups in Malaysia. Number 7. Scan the depths at Aquaria Kale CC. Aquaria Kale CC, which is not just an aquarium, but also called an Oceanarium, and is in the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, is over 60,000 square feet and has a 300-foot tunnel in the middle that lets visitors explore the depths up close as they are surrounded on three sides by water. The experience is set up as a journey from land to sea and is meant to teach people about the aquatic life of Malaysia, from rivers and swamps to the ocean. There are also educational and interactive exhibits that show how important it is to protect the environment. The Aquaria KLCC is home to more than 5,000 aquatic animals that visitors can see and learn about. Number 6. Have some fun at Sunway Lagoon Theme Park. Since it opened in 1997, Sunway Lagoon Theme Park in the suburb of Petaling Jaya has been a fun place for the whole family. Their slogan is Come Feel the Fun and people who visit the area can enjoy not only a theme park, but also a water park, a wildlife park, and an extreme park with scarier rides for people who like to take risks. Number 5. Enjoy the culture at the National Museum. The National Museum is a piece of architecture in and of itself. It is close to the famous Lake Gardens and is built in the shape of a traditional house. Its decorations are a mix of modern and more traditional styles. Visit the National Museum to learn about the history and culture of Malaysia and see replicas of Malay houses, wedding scenes, and hunting displays. Number 4. Make some feathery friends at Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. This huge aviary covers more than 20 acres and is home to more than 3,000 birds. Most of the birds are native to the area but there are some imported birds as well. Visitors can learn about the local plants and animals and watch birds in one of the world's biggest public aviaries. The park is also a well-known scientific site with an emphasis on conservation and education. Number three, sample some local flavor with nasi kandar. Nasi kandar, which means mixed rice, is a staple of Malaysian food. Customers get a plate of plain rice and can choose from a variety of toppings and sauces to go with it. Due to the large number of South Indian immigrants, nasi kandar is based on Tamil dishes, and the sauces and gravies have a lot of curry powder and chili. Number 2. Take in the history at Sri Mahamariamman Temple. 
Sri Mahamaryaman Temple is known for being the oldest Hindu temple in Kuala Lumpur. It was built in the 1800s and is a great place to learn about the different cultures and religions that make up this city. The temple is easy to spot as you walk up to it because its front is bright and full of Hindu deities that show famous stories. Visitors can explore the grounds and be amazed by the architecture and atmosphere. Number 1. Visit the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. The tallest twin towers in the world are the Pithiraunas Towers, also called the Pithiraunas Twin Towers. They are one of the most famous sites in the world. Most people in Malaysia are Muslims, so the towers have Islamic designs and postmodern architecture. People come here to walk across the sky bridge that connects the two towers. From there, you can see amazing views of the whole city of Kuala Lumpur. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Kuala Lumpur. Do you agree with our list and think that visit the Petronas Towers is the best thing to do in Kuala Lumpur? Share your views in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.